the CEO of the Rare Chicken Therapeutics. Thanks again for joining us. Uh, and coming up in the next... Uh, CME adjusted now is $330. Currently it's trading $288. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? So, with that, I hope you enjoyed your first week. I hope you didn't find it too intimidating. Uh, we, we accomplished a fair amount during the first week. Uh, we did look at all the administrative things, the syllabus, uh, grading rubrics, uh, what kind of assignments we're going to have, uh, how the format that assignment should be in, uh, what kind of references needed to be listed, those kinds of things. Many of you attended the seminar. I hope to see all of you in the seminar this week. Uh, and we introduced ourselves to each other. All important things to do in the first week of any course. And we also delved into the first principles of economics. We looked at scarcity and uh, how we, there's never enough of any resource that's needed. We looked at opportunity costs, the thing we have to give up or the things we give up to have whatever it is that we've decided we want to have. Okay? The fact that we all face trade-offs. We looked at marginal analysis, the fact that that's uh, analyzing what happens when we add one more or take one more away. We looked at how markets achieve equilibrium. And we looked at... So that's what we covered in Unit 1. Now let's look at Unit 2. This week we're going to look at the production possibility frontier model. Some pretty technical language. Don't worry, by the end of the week, you'll be very familiar with it, okay? It's nothing that's going to scare you, okay? We're going to look at how production trade-offs occur, and we're going to use a very simple model, just two items being produced, okay? Uh, we'll look at what's feasible in production, what's efficient, and what's not feasible. We'll look at how opportunity costs are increasing in some cases. We'll look at what establishes economic growth, and then we'll delve into comparative advantage and the difference between comparative advantage and absolute advantage. These terms, which you'll find out as you do your reading, relate to international trade. And uh, with that, basically, we will have covered uh, the material that's in Unit 2. Remember, if you have any questions at all, please get in touch with me. Either call me uh, send me an email, uh, come to me during my office hours, uh, or uh, visit my virtual office and leave your questions there. I'm here to help you. That is my sole purpose in being here. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you in the discussion threads and in the seminar.